Um. All right, welcome back everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming and we are going to do, who the hell is Levit 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 Leviticus Cornwall? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so uh, I had to reload the game and, and uh, it just went back through uh, one of the uh, the cutscenes where John Marshall was still lying in the bed so I didn't have to back backtrack too much. All right, when riding with the gang, double tap left shift to move up formation, double tap left to move right back. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Gray. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! <laughs> after Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yes, yeah. sir. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. I don't think Arthur and Micah like each other too much. Then Micah's, uh, I don't trust him anyways. Guy seems like he's bad news. We're going to find out one way or the other, I suppose. Getting down out of the snow here. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Sequela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. The Missed tower. the turn there. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Good old Bill Williamson. Wait, where's he at? I saw him walking. Oh, just look at the mini map, old guy. <laughs> Here he is. How you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right, pick up the spool, attach it to detonator. I think I'm going to move my horse a little ways away just in case something happens. <laughs> you never know.
pick up. Connect the wire to the detonator. Connect wire. Okay, this is good. All right. Did I do that right? I should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right. I hope I know what I'm doing. Come on, boy. Yeah. What do we have in our long weapon slot? Let's uh. Get our repeater. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Switch the item wheel. Select close with and press Q and A Oh, mask. Okay. We're putting our disguise on. Here it comes. What could possibly go wrong? Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Jump on the train or <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> well, we lost that guy. I think that was Javier, wasn't it? I'm slipping. Grab Lenny. Oh shit! I got you. Now stop yelling. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Don't give him away. Oh, pull, sorry. Help me. I'm I'm pulling. Oh, do I have to tap? Oh, I gotta tap it. Okay. What? What? Oh crap. I didn't know I had to tap it. I was just holding it. Oh no, that's terrible. Okay. Retry <laughs> the checkpoint. Oops. Uh yeah, we'll just pretend that never happened, right? Okay, at least it's starting us here. I didn't know I had to tap it. It didn't say tap. It just said... <laughs> it just said do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, tap, 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 tap. There we go. All right. Yeah, we'll just pretend that never actually happened to Lenny. Okay, we probably better get our... This might be a better place for a pistol, because it's close quarters. Um, I think we left our... Oh, I think we left our shotgun, so yeah, here, you just do it, Lenny. Uh, take the lead. You cover me. Okay. Nope. Oh, I'm taking the lead, okay. Now, we're supposed to be able to sneak up behind these guys and knock them out without killing them. Let's just see how well that actually works. Well, so much for that, huh? <laughs> okay. How come I can't take cover here? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, we're moving up. We're moving up. Okay, so we can pistol whip them if we're close enough. He's not taking cover. We I'm pressing up? C, and it's just going behind me. We best get up there. How come I'm not firing? Yeah, let's loot. <laughs> He's looting while there's a gunfire going on. Do I not have my pistol drawn? Yeah, I got it drawn. Should we move up? There we go. We have to Still trying to get used to this, you guys. Give me a break. <laughs> That's terrible. got shot damn it okay so we got to keep him alive all right well we're just going to pretend that that didn't happen either <laughs> do better this time holy moses okay do we have to start all the way back at the front of the train or when we jumped on it no we start here okay oh, he just knifed that guy there's another guard up ahead Okay, so let's uh let's have Lenny take him. Yes, you go. You can probably shoot better than I can. Okay, you just kind of sneak up this way. Okay, nobody's showing up yet, so let's just go quiet. Well, I mean, press. Yeah, we already know about Dead Eye. Was a little bit better. We got trouble here. You make some bad choices in this life. <sighs> we moving up? Okay, one thing I have to remember is that with this repeater, there's actually Shouldn't it's kinda like there's up? two kinds of reloading. You know, there's All jack right. and a chamber in the round, yeah. but then there's reloading like the tube. What the so R reloads the whole thing. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. Let's loot this guy. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what okay. we're doing, kid. We're working on it, man. We're working on it. Okay, I think let's get the revolver out. Make sure it's loaded. Wait, what? Okay, we do a little bit better with Dead Eye. Now that I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will, will you quit your whining, Lenny? We're I working know, on it. Jeez. Up. Whoa, that was close. I almost hit Lenny. <laughs> Took Lenny's hat off. <laughs> Sorry about that, Lenny, but you're fine, man. Okay. I don't have any uh, dead eye left. Nice shot. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, what's dead eye? This fortify fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. Damages dead eye core. Uh, okay, well, let's try it. See, this, this automatically marks. It doesn't... I'm not controlling the marking of it. Which is interesting because the... Um, the, 
the instructions say I have to use Q to mark, so I wonder if that's a setting that I can change. Okay, let's go, um, yeah, let's go back to here, switch to items. Uh, that's the only thing we have for Deadeye, huh? But it says it damages the core. Mark that guy. We need uh, our rifle. Why do we have our pistol out? That's longer range. Okay, he got away from us. Gonna get out of this. I think he's, I think we're too far away. We need to move up a little bit here. Come on, stick that head up. Whoops. I was looking at my dead, I think. Nice shot. <laughs> C is supposed to get me behind cover, but it's making me look behind me, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Watch it! More them ahead! Alright! Finish those sons of bitches! Okay, so hold that one for details. Oh, did we like level up? We level up our, our dead eye? I missed it. I think we leveled up our dead eye. Okay, that wasn't very eloquent, guys, but hey, we got the job done, and we're still alive. That's the important thing. We're not going to win any awards for that gunfight, though. <laughs> yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh, firing from the hip. Gotcha. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Take the dynamite from Bill. Now, don't oh, throwing a stick of dynamite, us, probably not a good idea. Place the dynamite. Take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we not go. Light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. You guys are still kind of close. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. Go to the private car. Get on the train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. All right, find loot on the train. You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Reed. Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Just waiting for their conversation to finish. Okay, letter to Let's see if we can get this open. <laughs> letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oil um, Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the initial there. phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation. 
Amberino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 19, 1898. On receipt of the funds... Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Okay. Uh, on receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. <laughs> okay, let's let them do their thing and we'll keep looking around. I should have waited until they were done talking, but have you checked all I didn't. The drawers and cabinets? I'm working on it. Yeah. Fine brandy. Nice. Let her inspect. How's it looking in there? A read. Dear Leviticus, this is from Archibald Jameson. Nothing much, yeah. Thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Let's Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansberg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. These just seem to be uh, the coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain man? open to business meeting at open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange Keep ideas looking. and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ainsburg, Ansberg, Annisburg, and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours truly, Archibald Jameson. Okay. I should uh Yeah, let's put this away. Oh, you know, it said flip. Oh, I guess we have it in our inventory now. Okay, let's loot. We're already loaded up with cigars. Can we actually put a cigar in our mouth here? Uh, weapon items. Would that be in this category? Oh, okay, so is everything in this area... Oh, I get you. Okay. So it shows the Deadeye icon right here. So this is all of our Deadeye stuff. This is all of our stamina stuff. This is all of our health stuff. Awesome. Okay. Very cool. I, that hadn't occurred to me, of course, before. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how we equip our cigar. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we just sell them or something. Or is it in our satchel? Let's look here. Cigar. Slightly damages stamina core, greatly restores dead eye core. So do we just consume that or? Hmm. I'm not sure. Our dead eye core is really hosed though, so we need to find something that's going to replenish it. What's that do? Mature venison meat. Where do we get that from? Oh, from, from the deer, duh. Materials. Stam slightly restores stamina core and moderately restores dead eye core. Yeah, let's have this. Okay, so drink. There we go. Okay. Search drawer. Take. Prominent American cards for premium cigarettes. And there's some, something else to take here. $25. That's pretty good. And that's all we got in there. Okay. Let's look over here. Search the cabinet. We can't take the cigar because we're already loaded up on cigars. Search the cabinet. No, oh, look at that. Like Lockbox. Must not be locked. Bond. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> okay, so have we looted everything we can loot in here? Get back to the gang. There's a bunch of cigars in here. Are you done in there? Working on it. Fine brandy. 
Anything over here? There shouldn't be anything left in there. Okay, here we go. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here. Why does he always leave it up to me? On the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Why do I always have to decide the prisoner's fate? Um, deal with the guards. Okay, aim weapon or threaten. No, I'm not gonna kill him. Okay. I'm not that bad get of a bad guy. Train. Quick. Out of here. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get on the train, boy. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Get a move on. Go to the engine car to start the train. Okay. Let's loot this guy. Fifty-two cents and three re revolver cartridges. Oh, and a gold wedding ring. Nice. I wish it would tell us in our inventory how, how much that stuff's worth. Okay, let's get on our hoss. Um, okay, boy. There's a couple of let's go. guys down here. Ourselves a health cure. Yeah. I wonder if the bodies we killed on the train are still there. I'm not gonna take the time to loot them for now though. Easy. Whoa. Oh, you know what? We have we can do the little I actually did this earlier, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we can do the little um what is it? We hold this down and then we. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Easy there. Hold down control and then hit spacebar, or is it hold down spacebar and hit control? Oh, you ain't doing it. What the hell? Here, let's look. Story. Uh, no, not story. We want help. And we want horse. And if we. Okay, hold left control and tap. Oh, we have to tap the space bar. Okay. All right, so what we got to do is hold control. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Wait, where are you going, Tennessee Walker? Get over here. Sometimes a horse kind of does his own thing, which is probably somewhat realistic for real life. I've been on a horse a couple times, but not, not enough to really know much about it. Enter the train. Start the train. So we're just going to leave those <laughs> three guys on there and have the train just go, huh? Well, hopefully they'll be smart enough to work their way up to the to the engine and, and slow it down before it crashes into something later on, I guess. Hopefully they know how to do that. I haven't really decided yet if we're going to be a, a bad, bad guy or a good, bad guy. Eastward bound. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where yeah, now? We'll see. I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Cool music. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I guess I better steer too, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Holding left control matches speed, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's also going to automatically steer. Oh man! Okay, let's take a look. Our milk jug's going off into the river. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Can I lift with my legs? There, there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. So there must be uh, like a Jesus nut or something like there that keeps that on. Thing. Lug nuts. If oh. they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. I thought that milk thing went all the way in the river. The milk canister. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. You can switch between different radar sizes encompassed by holding Why are you left off. So, so, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or Herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never 
forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. You are now hot. It's shown by the flashing sun icon on mother. your health card. Took us somewhere. That's cool. We'll drain we faster. Okay. Except for I can't see my health card. Around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. I wonder what that story still is. Still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. <laughs> Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. So we got ginseng and yarrow. Oop. Giddy up. Giddy up. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. Probably slow down just a little bit. <laughs> we need to look at the compendium. But not right now. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. You gonna get on? Hold left control to bring the... Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. That's Javier, isn't it? Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Yep. Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Look at the turkeys. Yeah, this is pretty secluded, isn't it?
Nah, are we supposed to park anyway? There we go. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit Sleep, shave, change clothes, or store properly. weapons in the weapon locker at your tent. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. All right. So I think we've probably gotten through the tutorial, which is probably all of Chapter 1, um, unless the game will still continue to give me hints, which maybe it will. I'm fine with that because we're still learning. There's a lot of things we don't know yet. But I wonder if this is the point where the game kind of lets us go do our own thing now. I'm guessing it probably is, but we'll see. Taking long enough to load, isn't it? A couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. 
Let's Eat, drink, so. and rest to maintain your There's course. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Compendium updated camera. Hold F1 for details. When you gain or lose weight or weight, it'll be shown in your health core. Okay. Hey, we got silver for that mission oh, complete. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Okay. Ammo, provisions, and health supplies can be found around the camp. The current stock levels are shown when near the tithing box. Okay. I wish you wouldn't show us those tips while there's dialogue going on because, you know, I'm not very good at multitasking. It said something about our beard earlier, too. Each day, Pearson will make stew, which you can eat from the pot at the knife and fork icon. Okay. Which is over here. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. Arthur. He can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels with increased capacity. Ooh, that'll be nice. All right, maybe it's just not time to eat yet. Or maybe we don't need to eat. I'm not sure. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Uh, let's just kind of look around our camp a little bit. We've got three yellow circles, which are, you know, quests and what, whatever. Um, but now that we're finally kind of on our own for a bit. People are getting hungry, Pearson. Do you want to cook right or not? <laughs> um, let's just uh, kind of scope things out here and see, you know, what we got going on. Uh, this is the tithing box here. Good morning, Arthur. Morning and, uh, oh, we don't like you. You're a dickhead. Okay. Contribute. <clears throat> okay, so if we look in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, sorry, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. We've got health bullets and food in red. So because they're in red, does that mean we don't have a supply of those right now? I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, Then we have two things of money. We've got like a... A briefcase for twenty-two twenty-five, and then we have forty-nine seventy-two in bills. So, um, if we hit contribute, give item, give money. Let's um, let's try item first. Oh, okay. So we can we can donate items. Okay. So since we have two of these, can I? Do I have to give both of them, or can I just give one? I wish I knew. Oh, it does tell us the value down here. Did did I just miss that before? Must have just missed it before. All right, let's just give. Let's just be cheap and give the the silver clamp buckle for now, just so we can kind of figure out how it works. So donate. You gotta hold it down. What in the hell is that? All right, what we're going to do... Good Lord, that's a lot. i got to turn this down a little bit. Okay, so this is only three. I want to look and see what updates here. I think this is probably the camp's money, and that's probably my money, I'm guessing. Uh, so let's go ahead and donate this for $3. Make you holla. Neither one of those updated. Huh. Okay. So valuables and kit. A value a valuable platinum pocket watch can be sold for cash. Okay, so neither one of these things updated, so I don't know 
exactly what's going on with that, but we'll figure it out. So let's uh, let's hit escape. Donate items. Oh, okay. I think. I think the twenty six twenty five is what updated, but I wasn't paying attention. So here, let's try this. Let's go back into here for a moment. Let's give a little bit of money this time. Uh, so increase amount, lower amount. So we'll give a dollar. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. There we go. Okay, so the 2625 should update if I am looking at this right. Yep, it did. Okay. So that's the camp's money, and then the 4872, I'm assuming, is my money. But I'm assuming we also don't have health, bullets, or food available yet because it's red, I guess. Okay. All right, let's look at something else. If we go into here and uh, cover scent pamphlet, potent predator bait pamphlet, pamphlet recipe on how to craft potent oh so we can read these these are like recipes oh that's cool i wonder where we got those from i don't remember seeing those before maybe we just got them when we entered camp fire arrow horse ointment a pamphlet recipe on how to craft herbal horse ointment animal fat light feather coffee moderately restore stamina and dead eye core stringy meat uh, all right, so let's see. Tonics, ingredients, materials, kit. So does, so does it just tell us how much money we have up here in the right-hand corner when we open this? Is that what the deal is? Or does that stay up there the whole time? Oh, it just disappeared. Ah, okay, so as soon as I open the satchel, the money appears up here, and then when I close the satchel, it goes away after a moment. Gotcha, okay. So we got 48 bucks. That's not bad. We got more money than our entire camp does. Uh, don't tell anybody that, by the way. Okay. So um, let's go back to our... This is our spot over here with the little uh, tent icon. Oh, a shaving kit. Okay, let's take a look at this. Trim your own hair. Pomade hair? Okay, all facial hair, mustache, chin, chops. This is your current length. Oh, cool. Mustache, chin, chops. Gotcha. All right. I kind of like his beard the way that it currently is, actually, though. Um, so let's go, let's go back here. Trim, mustache, chin, chops. So we can only trim our hair. We can't. This is your current length. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. We, but we can't go higher because we haven't grown it yet. Trim shaving kit. I guess it is shaving, so that's probably why we can only do facial hair. I'm, I'm kind of digging his beard, but I wouldn't mind cutting my normal hair a little bit. But apparently... Wait a minute. Back up. Okay, let's try this again. So, why is this grayed out? You have no pomade to... Oh, pomade! That's like dippity do, right? <laughs> okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, too bad it doesn't let us cut our actual hair here, but I guess it doesn't matter. I like the way Arthur Arthur's looking right now. Okay, so this is our our trunk so we can change clothing and we can also access our weapons locker. We have a cattleman's revive revolver, a sawed off shoddy a carbon repeater and a bow. Those are all on our saddle. This is, this is in our holster, I guess, right on our person. I'm thinking you have no weapons in your locker. Equipped. Yeah. Okay. Equipped. All right, cool. I'm sure we'll come across better weapons. I don't know if we can craft them, but I'm, I think we can buy, at least buy them and find them, if nothing else. Uh, all right, so let's look in the in the, uh, the clothing locker. 
Outfits, hats, vests, shirts, pants, suspenders. The gunslinger. The summer gunslinger. The winter gunslinger. That's what we're kind of wearing now. Grizzly's outlaw. Brawler's outfit. The ruffian. The rebel. Um, the innocent. The, the pursuer. Kind of like the Grizzlies Outlaw. Summer Gunslingers, kind of nice. Winter, summer, and then just normal Gunslinger. Let's Yeah, let's go. Um, oh, see, it changes our hat, too. Yeah, I, I like our current hat better than that hat. This outfit is suitable for average temperatures. So temperature will affect our cores. I, I remember no, reading about that somewhere, probably in the help menu. Remove from horse, store on horse. So we already have all these outfits because she said we got most of our stuff from Blackwater. Okay, well, um, this outfit is suitable for hot temperatures. I don't think we're really in a hot environment. So where, where's like a mot... This outfit is suitable for cold temperatures, average temperatures. You know what? Let's just go with it. What the heck? Let's just go with this outfit. Uh, remove from horse. This outfit is suitable. One of three outfits on your horse. Wait, what? Store on horse. Grizzly's outlaw. So, okay, let's just back out of here. Okay. I guess what we... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so what we can do is we can store like a cold weather and a hot weather outfit on our horse so that way we can change clothes when we're out and about. Gotcha. Well, um, I don't think we're going to be in super, super cold weather for a while. Is my... Oh, actually, I really like this outfit. This is really cool. I kind of like his other hat, though. Um, I'm thinking we could maybe get into warm weather at some point. But you know what? Let's just let's just go with what we got, and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, examine. Toggle view. Flip. Beatrice Morgan Spring Rocks. Spring Rocks or Spring? Yeah, Spring Rocks, 1870. Read. Yeah. Is that, would that be like my um, wife or mother? Hmm, I don't know. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really say. Rambles through woods and plains. A field guide to the botanical kingdom. Open. Read. When is food ready? It'll be ready when it's ready. Okay, so this is this is like an herbal an herbal um guide book kind of thing. That's neat. I'm not gonna take the time to do that right now. It's kind of probably gonna be a, an off camera kind of thing. Um let's take this though, because we might want to reference it while we're out and about. Because I would like to get into some crafting here. Inspect. Okay. Arthur's father, Lyle Morgan, larceny. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Arthur's dog. Do we actually have a dog? I mean, can we have him or is he like long gone? Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. Back in our younger days. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, what do we got here? Photograph. Examine. View. See, I'm thinking that might be our wife. Nothing on the other side. Because she's a lot younger than the, the lady in the other picture. 
see, we got a zoological compendium. Okay, so this is going to be a book about critters. Badger, skunk, notes on animals, and so on and so forth. Okay, cool. Um, so it doesn't look like we flip pages on these. We just open it up and read it. So, again, something I'll do later on, but I'm going to take this with me as well. Uh, all right, so I think that's pretty much it for our camp. Flower. So is that like an herb that we're growing, I guess? Or do we just have it there because Arthur likes flowers? I don't know. Hey, if Arthur wants to like flowers, he can like flowers. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, all right, guys. I think that's it for this episode. Um, we made good progress. And so I'm really excited because now what we can do is we can start going off and just, you know, the world has opened up to us, essentially. So we have the choice, of course, of doing quests, which we will continue to do. But, you know, uh, I'm thinking I want to try some fishing. I might want to try some hunting. And, um, you know, just continue to enjoy this game. I'm not going to be in a big hurry to get through this either. I mean, I, I am mostly playing the game for the story to enjoy, but I want to enjoy the world and everything too. So we're going to take our time and just have fun with this and uh, see, you know, where it leads us. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Remember, on the comments, please do not give me any spoilers, tips and tricks. Those kinds of things are fine, uh, but no spoilers. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.